we're on our way to Batangas. Why? Because we are going diving for the next couple of days. Now, for those of you who don't know where Batangas is, it is only a two-hour drive from Metro Manila. And it has one of the most diverse marine life in the country. So we're here at Joanne's Grill, the pit stop of all the divers and the locals in town for ribs. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. okay, so I will repeat. The skin of an animal is really hard to digest and it's so unhealthy for you. But, what did you say earlier, Phil? Sunny, sunny, sunny. Okay, let's see if it's worth it. Oh, I feel my blood vessels constricting. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <laughs> Masarap siya. Okay. Worth it naman. Worth it. Yeah. We're so full! Bye-bye, okay. Joannas! Bye, Jonathan! Bye-bye. Welcome to INR, our accommodation for this dive trip. Hi, I'm Philip Pangilinan of INR Beach and Dive Resort. Welcome. INR is a dive destination about two and a half hours, three hours from Manila. It's the closest dive place from the capital. Aside from having an infinity pool, we have a 15-foot technical pool where you know, divers can practice or they can learn in the pool going out the ocean. set up for the underwater photography. Wow, we have here. And he's got all his gear packed up now? Yep. Packed up now. Ready in a format. Mm, so they have to put it here because it needs to be cleaned properly? Yes. Properly. Meticulously. What's this for? Um Dry. To dry the canvas for uh, the nooks and crannies of uh, the housing. So we have air compressors to blow the water off. And we have 18 stations where 18 divers can work in there. Canvas charge it, charge the batteries, uh, assemble their gear. Okay, so that's why I guess INR is, is a very top choice for you. Pro divers? Yes, pro divers. Okay. Pro photographers. Pro photographers, pro divers. Because they have this. I think this is the only dive place that has something like this. So for time. Baboy? Peak or mountain or and we can see a 360 degree view 
of the surrounding area. <laughs> down and off of Mount Gulugud Bay boy <laughs> here in Mavini and gosh the view was awesome um, 360 degree and we can see all those little islands and the beautiful sunset <laughs> worth it ang two hour trek na to peace uh, let's go Master Junte Leon and our good friend Franny. Yan. They're in boat number two. Say hello everybody. This is Philip. Hi. Uh, Sharon. Bobbit. Hello. And Wowie. And I'm so proud to be diving with these guys because they are master digital imagers, not just under the water, but in the air as well. All right. Thank you guys for joining me for this wonderful, wonderful. And kasama ko po din si, si Bong and of course my DM si Vern. Ayan. So guys, it's a really great time. All of us today, right? Yeah!
<laughs> Hi, we're, uh, we're Studio H2O. My name is Bawi and this is my colleague Poppet. We are underwater cinematographers and we've been doing this for almost two decades now. Are you beyond the dec two decades? I think I'm a little bit older than that. But okay. Yeah, I joined the team, I guess, about three years ago and uh, I'm very fortunate to be learning with amazing, amazing imagers like Wawi Wong. We are a mutual admiration oh, team, as you may have noticed. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Anilao is the center of the center of marine biodiversity on the planet. What it means <laughs> is, most people around the world know what the Coral Triangle is. Yes. The Coral Triangle is that region on the planet which is comprised of six countries. Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Timor-Leste. Six countries, six million square kilometers. That is the most biodiverse region. But when scientists studied it to find out why, they were able to zero in in an area within the Coral Triangle, which was even more biodiverse. This area was called, Mr. Wong, the Sulu-Sulawesi Seascape. So now, out of those six countries, only three countries fell within that area. Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. But wait, there's more! Within the Sulu Sulawesi Seascape, one scientist named Ken Carpenter from Old Dominion University found an even more diverse spot. And this is the area called the Verde Island Passage. Only in the Philippines, comprised of Mariduque, Romblon, the Tumi Doros, and Batangas. And the justification, the reason why all this is only in the Philippines, is Dr. Carpenter found seven reasons which made the Coral Triangle the most biodiverse region on the planet. Each of the six countries in the Coral Triangle have one or more of the seven factors. Only the Philippines has all seven factors. Did you know that? <laughs> so that's why we love Adelao, because this is the place to be. We urge you to come and visit Adelao and just enjoy the beauty of this beautiful place. We have over 50 dive sites in this small place. So choose a dive you want, a dive profile you want, from beginners all the way to pros. Anila has everything to give you over and over and over again. We all know we need busy lives and there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of anxiety, traffic, pollution. Take a break. Don't just smell the flowers. See the aura, enjoy the fish. I guarantee you, the moment you go down beneath our turquoise waters, your blood pressure will go down. Oh, yeah. Your cholesterol will resolve. But you'll definitely be in a far better place and you'll emerge in a better state of mind, ready to take on the challenges of your birthday. The Verde Island Passage, it, it, it's beautiful, you know. Come, come and see it for yourselves. Uh, but we also want to let you know that when you come here, you have a responsibility to keep it protected, to keep it safe, you know, preserve it for the next generation. So yes, come here, understand the biodiversity, the importance and the impact it has on the communities here. But, you know, come here and help us preserve it for the future. So, guys, I want to invite you to come here to Manilao, to Batangas in general, and just see the beauty of nature. And when you do, I want you to be responsible. I want you to um, enjoy the beauty, but always remember the trash that you put in um, or don't dispose of properly somehow goes to our to the land and to the ocean, and we don't want that to happen. To let you know more about how you can help maybe um, 
clean up after yourselves or clean the ocean up with us. So till then. SEA Institute is one of my newest advocacies that I support because I love the Philippines. I love its oceans and the land that we live on. Just like in the Verde Island Passage, we want to protect this environment, keep it safe and clean for future generations. Kaya, panoorin niyo po to to learn more.